Howdy, y'all. Joe Hills here, recording as I always do in Nashville, Tennessee, and I'm playing Vinyl Fantasy by 3-2. As you can see, uh, this is the second episode. I've got myself a little hut over there, and there's a lot of creatures all around that want me dead. Whoa. Including that one, who maybe was just also wanted dead by his friends. Wow. Okay, so this is supposed to be a ROM hack hard map, and I can't even give you an explanation of what I'm looking at without having a million things come out and try and kill me. Really? Really, Creeper? You can't see me? Oh, come on, really? Fall in the lava, guys. Really? Come on! Oh, this is just obnoxious. I can do this. Ah, uh, that was close. Almost. There we go. Next problem. Spider's still down there. Whatever. Okay, so I haven't even been able to get a good look at everything around me here. There's definitely something over there, some sort of grid. That structure there looks really promising. I think that's where I want to go first. That is likely to be the Victor Monument. So I think that what I'm going to have to do is build a bridge upward and then out... So, immediately, I'm going to get a shovel, and I am going to begin my bridging. Got my little umbilicus here, so if a creeper blows me up right when I come out, I don't blow the door to the uh, spawn, or not spawn, to my bed, everything. Hi, zombie. I see you over there, but I refuse to acknowledge you. Oh, wait, I just did. Dang it. I'm not good at this game. Excellent. Now I have enough materials to make my shovel. Okay, so I need to continue to illuminate up here. I've done a pretty decent job so far, but I want to make sure that no creepers and stuff spawn. Because they could come over the top here of this berm and make my life a little bit more difficult than usual by blowing me up right... Why is the uh, brick breaking thing not showing? That's weird. Oh well. Um, I want to make sure that this whole area here is pretty well lit and generally deterrent against creature spawn. But this is also as good a place as any to start harvesting out uh, dirt. You can see that really cool pyramid in the distance, which I want to go visit. I, I think my only complaint about this map so far, and you know me, I love complaining. Give me something to talk about, and it'll probably be a complaint. I feel like this is, uh, like, it's really, you can't see enough of the cool stuff from where you start. Like, I can see these cool things, and I want to go there, but I'd have to fight through all that darkness over there to see that cool stuff, which, while interesting, is also inconvenient in a lot of ways. Um, you know, I probably should go up here and clear out this tree as well. So let's go up and, uh, knock that out real quick. Why isn't the breaking animation showing? This is really bizarre. I've never seen the breaking animation not show up. I wonder if maybe my texture pack updated because... Oh, it's probably because I installed one out. Ah! Ah! No! Oh, g goodness. No. Okay. You are a horrible, horrible person, 3-2. I'd like to point out that this is not a Vex map once again. This is a 3-2 map. This is wrong. I did this badly. I did this very badly. Um, um, um. So, yeah, we're gonna just channel that around like so. Did I block my entrance to my house? Yeah, apparently. Let's put this here. Well... So this is not ideal. I've lost my umbilicus, essentially, in this effort. Now the breaking animation shows up fine there. That's bizarre. Huh. Well, we'll go ahead and plant a glowstone right here. And, uh... Whoops. Grab that torch. Luckily for me, I had all that, uh... What do you call it? All that, uh... Soil prepared. Or this could have been a lot worse... Dang it. I would have liked to have had some... Oh, you know what? These uh, pieces right here might yet be useful for other things. Let me just grab those while they're burning anyway. So, hiding lava inside of the trees. The first trap 
Three two. I will admit you got me pretty good on that one. You did indeed. So meanwhile, let's just grab some more lava or not lava, uh, soil that I might yet use it for construction of my bridge, which I would like to have for approaching that thing that I assume is the Victor Monument up in the sky. Okay, interesting. There's some stone underneath this. Okay, it's not a, uh, one of them stupid, horrible baby silverfish stones. Anything of import in there? Not as far as I can tell, no. Okay, so now let's go ahead and just draw this out this way a little bit. That'll be a little bit of extra lighting. And let's run inside and use the bed such that I can, uh, advance the day counter. And we are now into day three, as soon as I wake up. Okay. I guess I should be careful about everything being trapped. I don't want to light up the entire Starting Island, just as another side note, because I know that it'll be more convenient for me to have uh, creatures not max spawning wherever I go. Do I hear things? Yeah, I hear that guy. Let's angle this properly. Jump and strike, swallow attack. I'm not a delicate bird, apparently. I thought yelling the name of a bird would be useful there, and apparently it is not as useful as they might tell you in, you know, anime school. Okay, that looks really far away. Like, that is probably... Let's say that's 64 blocks up and 256 across, so I'm going to need at least... Wow, I'm going to need several stacks of... Uh, I'm going to need five stacks of dirt me from using this wool as a bridge of material either being as the well I guess the fact that it burns and if I activate blazes or ghasts yeah I'm probably gonna activate blazes or ghast spawners as I approach well you know what we're doing pretty well at getting higher up right now so let me uh just see if I can poke my head out you know what that grid there those boxes one two there's four by like nine of them if I had to guess, I would say those are probably blaze spawners. So, I'm, I'm probably going to have to not use the wool to approach whatever this structure is. I also can't assume that there's an entrance on this side. I might have to go all the way around. So, let's see. I've got one of my five stacks of dirt already, but I'm just going to have to go in and shovel for real. And uh, grab me some more, I think. I'm planning to just totally bypass this dark area. I don't think it's worth it to me to light the entire thing up. I don't see any supply chests or anything like that visible. Nothing on top of any of the trees. Nothing that looks super promising. There's really very few light and clues in general in this map. I mean, that's lit up, so I know that's important. Okay. I've got 22 torches. Ah! Creeper. Whoa, running backwards into lava. I'm just an all-star today. Luckily, I did not actually jump into the lava, or I would actually be like, I am really freaking out and screwing up. Hello, a creeper. Have a face full of sword. Hello, a creeper. Have a face full of sword. Hello, a creeper. You know the refrain by now. No. It was have a face full of sword, you idiot. He doesn't know the words to any songs I like to sing. It's really a drag. Okay, I hear lots of creatures out this way. I might have to kill you for your flesh. Your delicious, delicious poisoned flesh. Which, of course, you have dropped none of. Whoa! Inventory! The attack of the inventory. Okay, there we go. Actual food. It might actually be wise for me to try and more aggressively. Whoa, that's a bad sign. Push into those areas, but I've looked over there. There's nothing of interest, really. Just a bunch of freaking Enderman spawners and stuff that I have no real taste for. So got me some bones, which is perfect if I ever actually find anything to harvest or cook. Okay, let's get out of here. Slowly. Not slowly, actually. Wow, okay. I'm gonna need to kill some spiders so I can get some bow- get a bow going on. Well, that'll speed up my dirt collection. 
But yeah, I need to kill some spiders so I can get a bow. I can harvest arrows off the skeletons, I guess. It's been a while since I did an adventure map, so a little rusty. Okay, I'm at my third stack of dirt, actually, so not doing too bad there. Oh, hey, there's something in the chest there. Well, let's uh, go ahead and smash this guy with a sword real quick. And then uh, look into this chest problem. Okay, so apparently digging randomly in the dirt is a great way to be rewarded with stuff. I accept this logic. Let's uh, rush indoors real quick. No, 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 soil, soil, no. Okay. So the lava here has now managed to work its way possibly through my front door. So I'm going to need an alternate entrance, in the very least. Uh, let's say here. And, uh, let's just knock that like so. Well, that's less than desirable. We'll just block that up. And pick the this up. Dang it, umbilicus. You were supposed to be better than this. Is there lava out that way directly? Yeah. Uh, what about out here? Is there lava directly above me here? No. Good. Okay. So we're going to make this our new exit. Get the door back down here. And if I die in the lava with all this cool stuff, I will be displeased. Okay. So that's done. Let's go ahead and inventory our cool stuff and figure out how much we like it. We got six bread. Okay, that's awesome. I'm going to put all but one of them in there. Got some stew. That's excellent. Got 56 torches. Okay, that's going to save me a ton of time. Um, we are up to three stacks of dirt out of the five we need. Going to save that wool for later. I got enough tools here to hold me over for a ways. So I'm going to put the extras in the chest, along with these fences, this lumber, and the bones. And the flesh, why not? Okay, cool. We are in a really good place. I'm glad that that creeper blew up that area, and then I randomly dug around for, like, 25 minutes. Because this is... Uh, dang it, it's dark out. Time to go inside. It's really interesting in maps like this how the resource gathering part at the beginning is kind of a grind. Well, it actually might be very uninteresting how resource gathering in maps like this can be kind of a grind. I, I really like that this map started out with that little walkthrough, so you didn't jump straight into the resource gathering. But the fact that the first task that I'm essentially looking at is, uh, you know, gather five stacks of uh, soil. You know, that's not necessarily the most fun thing. However, the visual appeal of what I've seen of this map and the... Uh, work that I've seen by 3-2 and other things really makes me compelled to press onward. What? 